Hello, and thank you for joining our demonstration today. We'll spend the next 10 minutes talking about the Salesforce to NetSuite pre-built integration. This will be specifically focused on the value that it can provide for the modern services business. Our discussion today will begin with a high-level overview of this integration. We'll then move into a product demonstration and show the integration in action. We'll finish up with some discussion around further functionality that our customers leverage and a quick value summary. The integration between Salesforce and NetSuite creates a unified bridge between two industry-leading platforms. We provide this integration through one of our most highly regarded partners, Soligo. Soligo's integration platform is built right onto NetSuite. This allows NetSuite administrators to be in control of the mappings between the two systems. The dynamic nature means that when your business grows and changes, you're not limited to a certain number of fields that can pass between the two, nor will you require a third party to rebuild an integration. Although Soligo provides this integration solution, your day-to-day -day users will not have any idea of Soligo's role in the process. What they'll actually be aware of is purely the link between the two systems. This integration greatly increases the communication between sales and finance departments at many organizations throughout the globe. Thousands of customers take advantage of this integration and the value that it provides, and this is just a highlight of a few of them. This is the leading practice that we suggest for businesses that want to continue to maintain their relationship with Salesforce, but upgrade their accounting platform. Collaboration, accuracy, and enhanced communication are often touted as some of the major benefits of this tool. Now that we know a bit about the integration and concept, let's see it in action. For our demo today, we'll be putting ourselves in the perspective of a modern services company and a couple of their employees that use the systems. You're a services business who's looking for a new accounting platform that will grow with you as you pursue your aggressive targets. You also have an established sales team who prefers using Salesforce. When your salespeople close an order, there are many, many manual steps to get this over to your finance team for billing and accounting. This is causing tension between the two departments as there's often back and forth emails and miscommunication, which is resulting in orders being booked late, discrepancies in revenue numbers, and ultimately contributing to a lengthy month end close. Salespeople also don't have a way to see if their customers are paying their bills. So if there's a collection issue or a customer calls a sales rep to ask about an invoice, they must be transferred over to the accounting department, which is resulting in decreased customer satisfaction. These manual steps and lack of visibility are causing wasted time, decreased productivity, and missed orders. The NetSuite Salesforce integration allows you to create items in NetSuite to have financial control over pricing and accounting automation as well as a seamless two-way feed of customer information between the two systems so that both sales and finance users always have accurate contact information available. In the demo, we'll see how sales reps can push orders into NetSuite seamlessly for approval by finance users. Finance users will then be able to approve orders and create financial transactions that automatically are reflected in Salesforce so that the sales users are always in the know in regards to their customer's financial standing. A feature that many service customers take advantage of is NetSuite's ability to distinguish service line items and automatically create a project record in the system to engage customers faster, promote customer satisfaction, and encourage quicker revenue generation. We'll talk more about the additional functionality like this after the demonstration. I'll now take on the persona of a sales rep and talk through the first part of the demonstration. I'm a sales rep at Rancourt Services and I just got out of an on-site meeting. And good news, the prospect is ready to place an order. I want to process the opportunity that I have in Salesforce so that the AR team can create the related sales order and start the billing process so that I can get my commission faster. Once I get back to the office and open up my Salesforce instance, I can get to work. I'm in the new Lightning interface, and this is supported by the integration. But if my company hasn't fully changed over from Classic, this is also supported. This account that I'm selling to will live in Salesforce only until I push the opportunity into NetSuite. This way, I don't clutter up the financial system with accounts that may not end up closing. Once the account is in NetSuite, all of the contact information will be automatically bidirectionally synced so that our finance people and I will always have the same info. I add my price book items onto the opportunity the same way that I did before we had this integration, which is nice because this is something that I want to be quick and easy as it's something that I do all the time. I have a few software licenses as well as an implementation service because our company provides both of these lines of business. Whether we offer both products and services or operate more as a purely services company, this integration will work appropriately. One more thing I want to point out is how efficient it is to attach documents to the opportunity to pass over to the finance team seamlessly. 
I can attach NDAs, contract agreements, or other documentation that will be moved over into NetSuite. I used to have to do this in a bulky email that would often get lost in the mix, or I have to send it to many different parties. With this integration, I attach the documents one time and everyone involved can see all the relevant documentation. Once I'm ready to actually convert the opportunity, I can do that in one of two ways. When the opportunity reaches a predefined stage, it can be automatically sent over to NetSuite. The other option is by utilizing a button, which as you can see I have configured in my account. This process, process eliminates manual work between me and finance while ensuring order accuracy. No more back and forth emails, data re-entry, missed orders, or conflicting reports. Our company doesn't track pre-sales time, but I know that some companies using this integration do, and they're able to create a NetSuite project record right from the opportunity so that they can get a full understanding of project profitability from start to finish. After I submit this opportunity, it's now in the hands of the finance team, and I can go back to doing what I do best, generating new business for my company. Now, let's change gears and move out of the salesperson's perspective, and I'll take on the persona of a controller at the same company. So, I'm a controller at Rancourt Services, and I'm starting out my day. The first thing I do every morning is log into NetSuite and check my reminders to see what I have on tap. I can see that I have a few sales orders to approve, so I'll start out with those approvals first, because I want to make sure to start processing the orders as soon as possible. Reminders really help to keep track of my activities and save me time from the old processes I do with post-it notes or long lists. I can approve orders in bulk or dive into specific orders to make sure that they look okay from a pricing accounting, accounting perspective before we start the rest of the process. This order flows seamlessly over from Salesforce, which saves me a ton of time because we used to have a lengthy process where our sales reps would compile different documents and email, email them out to different people in our organization. Now all of this is done within our system, and we've seen a great reduction in time spent, order errors, and over-communication. We've configured our systems for items to be created and managed in NetSuite and synced to Salesforce. This way our finance team can control things like which revenue account each item should hit, as well as price levels and customer-specific pricing. The item record is also able to default in values such as contracts term start and end date, billing schedules to automate invoice generation, and which financial segments that these items should be classified as. I can see any relevant documentation that the sales rep attaches to the Salesforce opportunity to minimize back and forth or documents being locked down in their personal files. When we're ready to send out the first invoice, the system's automation calculates exactly how much each invoice should be for so that we don't have to keep track of this manually or in Excel. When financial transactions are created in NetSuite, they will also be created in Salesforce. The integration sends back both records and PDF copies of the transaction so that sales personnel can be aware of the standing of their customers. This gives them the accounting visibility that they need while maintaining segregation of duties for better SOX compliance. We were able to increase organizational visibility and allow sales users to stay on top of their customers while freeing up time spent by our accounting team who is responsible for responding to customer inquiries. Now that we've seen both sides of this integration from a user perspective, I'll exit the controller role and head back to the PowerPoint to talk about some additional features that this integration can provide. You just saw this flow in action from the perspective of both a sales rep and a finance user. We were able to see the real-time nature of this integration as well as the visibility and automation that is provided. Sales users can spend more time selling and less on internal meetings and information transfers. Finance users can seamlessly receive orders, automate approvals, and utilize NetSuite's industry-leading accounting platform. To add to the functionality that you just saw, this integration can also facilitate many other business scenarios. We talked about how, if you track pre-sales resource time against projects, a button can be created on the opportunity to create a NetSuite project so that your resources can track time and expense to a project before it closes. If your product master lives in Salesforce and items must be generated on that side of the house, this integration will allow you to create the items in Salesforce and have them replicated into NetSuite. Similarly, opportunities and quotes can be mirrored into NetSuite so your finance users can create sales reports without the added expense of another Salesforce license. If your sales strategy utilizes channel partners or team commission strategies, this integration can automate the calculations for you rather than having extensive Excel documentation to maintain. Lastly, concerns around missing contract renewal opportunities due to disorganization can be eliminated with NetSuite's contract renewal automation that enables renewal, upsell, and downsell opportunity creation right to your sales reps dashboards in Salesforce. 
So to summarize the value that we discussed today, this seamless and flexible integration ensures data integrity between your Salesforce and NetSuite instances. The inefficiencies of manual information transfer, over communication, and mistakes are eliminated for your sales and finance personnel. As you grow, you're able to update the field mappings between the two systems to ensure that this is a long-term solution for your growing business. And all of this would not matter without the thousands of customers utilizing this platform, proving the integration's accuracy and legitimacy. That wraps up our demonstration. Thank you for joining. If you have further questions, please reach out to your NetSuite sales representative.